What's up guys, Sans7 here. Okay, so I've had a lot of questions on how I edit my videos, what do I use, what programs, and I'm not going to go into how I record my gameplay on my Android device, but in this video I am going to show you how I edit once I have the gameplay. You can see this is the gameplay that I have right here. Well, if you have a Win Windows computer, it comes with Movie Maker. It's absolutely free, it's very simple, it's very easy to use. So go ahead and open that up and then add videos. I'm going to add my intro and a couple way to add videos. One, you can do that. Two, well, you can just drag it here, drop it there. There's my gameplay. And we're going to get the outro in there. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to split this up. I don't need this entire gameplay. What I need is the run of Here Be Monsters, which starts right, right about there. And we can split it. And we don't need this part. And one of the things I'm going to do is just slide this over so it's easier to see. And also, just a quick tip, if you have it like this and you start viewing it, usually, sometimes the quality is just really bad when you're watching the preview, but either way, just whatever's comfortable for you. So, all right, we've got that part. Now, the next thing I do is I split up my videos into sections so I can time the music. So at the end of the, the Here Be Monsters run, right there, there's the victory screen. That's exactly where it's popping up. That's where I want the music to start ending. And we're going to split that right there. And then we have the next section that's not really, it's not gameplay, but I do want to keep it because there's a few things I want to explain. And we've got the next run of Here We Monsters, and there it is right there. So we'll just go ahead and split that. Okay. Now it's split up into the sections that I want for this video. Next thing I do is I take the gameplay. Those are my two sections of gameplay. And I speed it up by 1.15. That's my starting point. Speeding up the gameplay, it just makes it a little more fast-paced, and it's more entertaining. Now, next, I have this section of video that I'm going to be talking about some stuff. It's not something that, you know, I need to be the entire two minutes. So let's just split it in half. Go times two on that. All right, now we're going to add the music. Now, where do I get my music? What do I use? Well, what I do is I use my video manager from YouTube. Go there. Scroll down on the left. You can see creation tools right there. You can just click on that. And there is a library of music for you to choose from. A lot of good music. I've used a lot of different sites. I have to say, this is by far the best selection of music, quality of music. It's absolutely free. You can put them on monetized videos. So I definitely give it a, I definitely give it a chance. Now, so let's go ahead and add music. And like I said, I like to time it with it. So I know that I'm starting at 377. And then it's going to end at 212. Um, so it's a, about 2.09, and let's go ahead and get it right here, and then we'll click the home button and add music. We're going to add music at the current point, and come on now, there we go. And we know that it's around 2.11, but you can manipulate the, t the speed of the video and speed it up, slow it down to get it what you want. I want this video or this sound song, and you can see that it's a little short, so we're going to have to speed this up just a bit, and I think, we'll see if that works. Next thing you want to do is you want to listen to it. You want to make sure you can hear it. Um, not hear it, but you want to make sure that when it ends, perfect. As soon as the song starts to end, the victory sign pops up. That's how I'm timing the music on this one. And then we're going to go ahead and add a song for from 1, 204 to 307, which is about a minute. And let's go ahead and add that music. And what we got is... I like this one. It's a little slow-paced. It's not as hard or fast because it's not gameplay. I don't want it, um, anything like that since it's not gameplay. And... I need to slow that down just a bit because, like I said, I'm always timing the music because, well, I want that to end as before the menu pops up, and it's a little more. So we're going to go back down to one point. Mm, I think that should be good. Yep, perfect. All right, now we got the end of it. We're going to got to add one more song. And it's going to go, I like my song to end right before the sound effects from that. So that's at 519 and 310. Okay. So we're going to go in here and we're just going to add that music real quick. Let's see what we got. All right. 
I think mob battle works just fine. Slide it there. And as you see, I'm going to need to lengthen that video just a bit. So we're going to slow it down. Or oop, the other way. That's too much. Perfect. And then, of course, you're going to want to listen to make sure that it sounds right, it times out right. And yes, perfect. Okay, so you've got all that done. You're ready to record your commentary. But before you do, watch the entire video. Go through, watch, watch it. Make sure everything is correct. And then go into Audacity. Um, I'll leave the link to download Audacity. It's absolutely free. It's a wonderful recording software. Make sure that you hit this record button and test and see that your voice is actually being recorded because if it's not, well, it sucks to lose just a wonderful commentary because your microphone wasn't turned on or something. So make sure that's set up. All right, and we're going to open that back up. Okay, next thing you're going to want to do is get everything prepared, set up, ready to go, and then you're going to hit the record button and say nothing for five seconds. And we're going to go ahead and do that right now. What's up, guys? Sand7 here. And, well, Wave I finally beaten. And it's thanks to Final Hour and Yanni's defense that absolutely destroys it. Okay, that's enough uh, that I can show you how to go proceed from there. And... Let's pretend like the entire commentary is done. It's good. I liked it. So we're going to swing back here. And remember that five seconds that I spoke about. Now what you're going to want to do is use noise removal. And make sure that you have this clicked right here, your selection tool. And just grab this area right here. Go into effect, noise removal, and get profile. Once you have your profile, you can just hit control A or double click it to select everything. Go into noise removal. And then you just hit OK. Um, make sure the remove is um, checked and all the default settings are fine. And that's done. Next thing I do is, well, because of that five seconds, it's going to throw off the timing. Well, come in here and just clip the boundary and delete that section. And there you go. From there, you just export it. And it's all done. Let's go back into Movie Maker. And you can click that little right arrow on Record Narration and then just add sound. And then we're going to add the one we just did. Slide it right there. And if you, as long as you've um, timed it correctly, where you're speaking and ending it at the right time, you're good to go. Proof watch the video. If you like it, if everything's good, one nice thing about Movie Maker is. Click Save Movie, and this is the type of save that will render it and put everything together. And you see right here that it has settings for YouTube already. Once you click that, it will get your, um, it will render your video to the proper settings for YouTube, so you don't have any black lines on it, and everything's good to go from there. All right, so I'll, like I said, I'll leave the links in the description for all these programs, and if you have any more questions, uh, just leave them in the comment section. Um, I've been using Movie Maker for about a year now, so I've gotten pretty familiar with it, and I have used Sony Vega Pro before. Now, I will say that Sony Vega Pro is, it's not as simple, there is a learning curve, but once you get it, it's amazing. You can do so many different things with it. However, the rendering times are very, very long. This, you know, the rendering times, you know, five, ten minutes, it's not so bad, versus, you know, an hour, hour and a half. I'll take that. So, all right, that's the end of this video, and hopefully um, this helps you out, and you can get your videos a little more polished and get those subs and views coming in. All right, guys, Sam7 out.